Hey guys, this is Mike. I'm just putting together a really quick down and dirty uh, intro into how to use the jailbroken Amazon Fire Stick. I'm going to have a lot better version coming out with much clearer screenshots later, uh, but I wanted to at least get something put together quick so you can follow along. Um, so you, all you need to do is unbox the Fire Stick and you're going to need to plug the HDMI into one of the HDMI ports on your TV. Uh, it may be that uh, it doesn't fit, and if not, that's okay. You can use the enclosed HDMI extender cable. Uh, you can plug that into the larger end and then plug the HDMI into your TV. You're also going to want to make sure that you plug the power source into both the wall using the power adapter and then the USB cable that's also included. So it does have to have power going to it. Uh, you will be using a, with the remote, you're going to be using the red, or excuse me, the big circle um, near the top, just below the microphone. Uh, you'll use the outer circle to navigate and the inside button to select. I've also already installed the batteries into your remote and paired the remote with the fire stick so it should be ready to go. You're going to turn your Amazon fire stick on by pressing the home button. The home button is the one that looks like a little home. Once you do so, you're going to be taken into the Amazon fire stick setup. Uh, you're going to need to choose the language that you want you'll be prompted to put your Amazon uh, username and password in, and you will also need to input your Wi-Fi info. Uh, once you've done all that, you're gonna come to the Amazon home screen, which is gonna look similar to what you have here. Uh, in this case, we're going to be using the add-on Kodi app. Uh, it should be under your recent, uh, most recent apps used. If not, you can go down to your apps and games. You're gonna scroll all the way to the right side. There's a place to say show all applications. It'll bring up another screen and then you can select Cody from there. Um, once you've used it the first time, if it's not showing up under recent, it will from there on forward. This is what your Cody home screen's going to look like. In this case, we are going to navigate over to videos and then down to add-ons and select. And from there, you're gonna to come to your Kodi add-on screen. We're going to be using, here I'm showing all of the different apps that I've currently got set up on my device. Uh, there's a good handful of them I'm gonna get rid of. I've just been playing around with them to see what works and what doesn't. Um, really the two main ones that we're gonna be using for movies and TVs are going to be Exodus and Phoenix. Uh, I'll do some more updates in the future to let you know about live TV, but for now, um, pretty much every movie and TV show that you could possibly want to watch, you're going to be able to find between one of those two. So um, you're going to select uh, here either Exodus or Phoenix. I prefer Exodus myself, um, and that's the one I use most of the time. Um, from there, you are going to come to your uh, search screen and you've got a lot of different options here as far as searching goes um, you can you can just click under movies if you click on movies you're going to end up being taken to a screen and I know the resolution on this is horrible but a screen that looks like this and from here you can choose movies sorted by year uh, languages uh, most popular movies that are still in theaters newer movies, movies that you've watched, uh, they're gonna show up here. Once you go to your search, so I'm assuming that you've gone ahead and done a search um, and put in the movie that you want, uh, you're gonna get this screen right here and uh, it'll give you a couple different options typically for the movie. So you just scroll over or navigate over to the one that you want. Uh, you're gonna select that with your remote and you're going to get uh, this this little pop-up right here that's going out and searching for the different places that that movie or TV show will be available. The next screen that you'll see, assuming that that movie is available, um, is something that looks like this. 
basically this is just a list of all the copies of the movie that's available. Um, typically you're going to see it in descending order of quality. So uh, the best quality is going to be the 1080p. Uh, then you'll see HD after that, SD after that, and then finally you're going to see some that say CAM or CAM. Um, the CAM version is probably what you'd expect. Um, it's somebody that's taken a video camera into a theater and recording it. Usually the quality is really, really poor, so I wouldn't even rec I wouldn't even recommend watching one that's CAM. Uh, there are times when you won't be able to find anything but CAM. Uh, search in Exodus, if you don't find it there, you can always use the back button and go and try looking for it on Phoenix. If you can't find it on either one of those two, give it a couple days, check again. Uh, worst case scenario, it's going to be a couple weeks before it shows up. Uh, most recently, I've seen that happen with Rogue One. Uh, so keep an eye on that. And that's it. Um, from there, you'll choose, you'll just scroll or navigate to the film that you want to watch, you'll select it with your remote, and uh, it will take just a moment to buffer ahead of time, and then your movie will pop up to start. From there, you can use your um, your Fire Stick Amazon remote to play, to pause, to fast forward, to rewind. Uh, the only thing that you're going to want to avoid is anytime you, once you've gone into the main Kodi app, you don't want to use the home button on the remote anymore because that will take you all the way back to the original Amazon screen, which is where you had to select Kodi to begin with. So if that happens, it's not the worst thing in the world, but you just have to go back through all of these steps again. Uh, it does save where you've been in a movie. So, you know, you're watching it, you have to pause it or stop it pick it back up again later. Um, it, it can remember where you're at and it will ask you, do you want to you know, want to resume from where you were at or do you want to start all over? Um, when you're done, you'll just hit your back button and you can do it all over again. So appreciate you watching this. Hopefully this gives you a, a quick intro into how to use it. I'm still new to it, so I'm learning a lot of new things about the add-ons and, and the different things that are available, and I'll try to do some updates on that in the future uh, as I learn more about it and can share more tips and tricks. So um, if you appreciate this video, or even if you don't, feel free to comment and let me know what you think, um, positive or negative. Thanks for checking in. This is Mike. I'm out.